as your day begins, I want you to wake up and be thankful that you were allowed to wake up this day. Every day is a blessing. Don't let yourself become overwhelmed or overstressed with the events ahead. Relax and breathe. There's so much beauty surrounding us and being able to look out on it even visually to smell the smells and there's so many wonderful things that we'll miss if we overstress ourselves. So try not to stress today. Try to enjoy today for what it is and realize that sometimes situations get dire, but just being able to get up and just breathe and see another day, that in itself is an accomplishment. I want to thank you for coming and the story will begin shortly. Breathe deep, rest easy, and I hope you all enjoy. This is the story of the wisdom of the willow tree. What is the meaning of life? And why is it that people grow old and die? Although he was young, those questions troubled the mind of the little one. He asked the elders about them, but their answers did not satisfy him. At last, he knew there was only one thing to do. He must seek his answers in his dreams. The little one rose early in the morning and prayed to the Creator for help. Then he walked away from the village, across the prairie and towards the hills. He took nothing with him, no food nor water. He was looking for a place where none of his people would see him. A peaceful place, a place where a vision could come to him. The little one walked a long way. Each night he camped in a different place, hoping that it would be the right one to give him a dream that could answer all of his questions. But sadly no such dream came to him. At last he came to a hill that rose above the land like the breast of a turkey. A spring burst from the rocks near the base of the great elm tree. It was such a beautiful place. This place seemed to be filled with the power of the Creator. Little one sat down by the base of an elm tree and waited for the sun as it set. But though he slept, again no signs were given to him. When the little one woke up the next morning, he was weak with hunger. I must go back home, he thought. He was filled with despair, but his thoughts were of his parents. He had been gone a long time. Even though that it was expected for a young man to seek guidance alone in this fashion, the little one knew they'd be worried. If I do not return while I still have the strength to walk, he said, I will die here. My family may never find my body. So the little one began to follow a small stream that was fed by the spring. It flowed out of the hills in the direction of his village, and he trusted it would lead him home. He walked and walked until he was not far from his village. But as he walked along the stream, he began to stumble and fell among the roots of an old willow tree. The little one clung to the roots of the tree. Although he tried to rise, his legs were too weak. Grandfather, he said to the willow tree, it is not possible for me to go on. The ancient willow tree spoke to him. Little one, it said, all the little ones always cling to me for support as they walk along the great path of life. See the base of my trunk, which sends forth those roots that hold me firm into the earth. They are a sign of my old age. They are darkened and wrinkled with age, but they are still strong. Their strength comes from relying on the earth. When the little ones use me as a symbol, they will not fail to see old age as they travel along the path of life. Those words gave strength to the little one's spirit. He stood up and began to walk. Soon his own village was in sight. As he sat down to rest for a moment in the grass of the prairie, looking at his village, another vision came to him. 
he saw before him the figure of an old man. The old man seemed strangely familiar, even though the little one had never seen him before. Look upon me, the old man said. What do you see? Look upon me again, the old man said. Then little one looked, and as he looked, the lesson shown to him by the willow tree filled his heart. I see an aged man in sacred clothing, little one said. The fluttering down of the eagle adorns his head. I see you, my grandfather. I see an aged man with the stem of a pipe between his lips. I see you, my grandfather. You are firm and rooted to the earth like the ancient willow. I see you standing among the days that are peaceful and beautiful. I can see you, my grandfather. I see you standing as you will stand in your lodge. And that is you, my grandfather. The ancient one smiled. The little one had seen truly. My young brother, the old man said, your mind is fixed upon the days that are peaceful and beautiful. And then he was gone. Now little one's heart was filled with peace as he walked into the village. His mind was troubled no longer with the questions about the meaning of life or death, for he knew that the old man he had seen was himself. The ancient man was little one, as he would be when he became elder, filled with the great peace and wisdom which would give strength to all of his people. From that day on, the little one began to spend more time listening to the words of his elders, the way they would speak and of all the young men in the village, he was the happiest and the most content. Thank you for taking the time to stop in and listen. Nature shows us many beautiful things, and sometimes in our visions and dreams we get messages. These messages are important, but remember, there is beauty and peace. And that is the key to a long and plentiful life. Once again, thank you for enjoying, and I hope you have a wonderful day.